today, Lazaro. And I am Leonine Flahimon. We are from the BSF 1E. The lesson we are going to discuss is about the different positional average or sometimes called as quantiles. So quantiles are the extension of the widget concept where the data are divided into several parts. So this video will be all about the measures of position. We will define, illustrate, and distinguish percentile, decile, and quartile. Also, we will be discussing the formulas in finding these three measures of positions. We are going to discuss um, percentile, decile, and quartile of ungrouped data. So first, what is percentile? So percentile is um, extension of the median concept where the data set is divided by 100 equal parts. So we're at percentile. So so decile, um, decile is a is also an extension of median concept where the distribution is divided by 10. So sa quartile, um, patas mo dyan na extension to median concept whereas it is divided into quarters which is 4. So sa percentile, um, take note um, when you're talking about percentile, ang keyword na kara is cent. Cent means 100. So for example, century. One century is equals to 100 years. Two century is equals to 200 years. So, ang sa decile ka na, you have to remember the key concept which is the deck means 10. So, example, um, decagon. So, decagon has 6 sides, um, has 10 sides, I mean. So, sa quartile, um, you just have to remember the quarters. For example, when we're talking about um, our grading periods, when we are in high school. So, my first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, and fourth quarter. So, here are the formulas for percentile, decile, and quartile. So, the formulas are when looking for percentile, um, K is uh, P sub K is equal to K open close parenthesis N plus 1 over 100. Sa decile ka na, K open close parenthesis N plus 1 over 10. Um, sa quartile, um, K open close parenthesis N plus 1 over 4. So, pare-pareho lang nga ng ating formula. But the difference is, ang anda nga denominator. Kaya sa percentile, sa percentile, 100. Sa decile, 10. Sa quartile, 4. So, N is equal to the number of data points. K is the desired position. So, 1 is constant. This is the example. So, the number of COVID-19 cases in 2 weeks is given as follows. So, 5, 5, 6, 6, 6, 8, 9, 10, 10, 11, 12, 12, 12, 14, 15. So, there are a total of 15 number of data points. So, we're going to compute for P sub 45. So, we're going to follow. So, we're going to the pop, So, we're going to follow the formula here. So, P45 is equals to um, 45, open close parenthesis, 15 plus 1 over 100. So, 15 plus 1 is 16, multiplied by 45, the answer will be 720. Over 100, the answer will be 7.2. So, this is the position. So, since the position of P45 is not a whole number, we have to we have to find the seventh entry and interpolate the remaining point two. So this is the our entry seven and this is the we're going to interpolate this one, the point two I mean. So we have to find the uh, seventh entry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, this is our 7th entry. So, P45 is equals to 9 um, plus 0.2. We're going to subtract the 8th uh, entry to the 9th entry. 8th um, entry to the 7th entry. So, 10 minus 9. So, the answer will be... Um, 10 minus 9 is equal to 1. So, 1 multiplied by 0.2 
the answer is 0.2. So, 9 plus 0.2, the answer will be 9.2. So, therefore, um, P sub 45 is at 7 point, uh, 7 point 2, uh, position, thus, P45 is equals to 9.2. So, this is the answer for uh, P45. So, um, we're going to solve for D cell in the same example. So, we're going to find for D3. So, and we're going to apply its formula. So, so let's substitute this one. Um, the desired uh, the desired position is 3. So, since 15 plus 1 over 10. So, 16, 16. 15 plus 1 is equal to 16. So, 16 multiplied by 3, the answer will be 48. So, 48 over 10 is equal to 4.8. 4.8. So, same as before, same as before, since the position is in, uh, so since the position is not the whole number, we are going to locate first the fourth position or the fourth entry in the given example. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 6 is the fourth um, entry. So, D3 is equal to 6 plus... 0.8 subtract um we're going to subtract um the uh fifth entry to the fourth entry so six minus six so six minus six is zero so zero multiplied by 0.8 the answer will be zero so six plus zero the answer will be six so which means the uh, so which means that the d sub uh, d sub three or the decimal three is equals to six. So we're going to the last topic. Um, so we're going to give the last example for the quartile, which is find the q um, the q two in the following data set. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. So we're going to find the Q2. So take note that if we're going to find, um, so take note if we're uh, solving for the quartile, if ginasagap natin is Q1, what magjang ibutang mo sa K. Ako man kung sa, sa 2, sa 3, sa 4. That is the quartile. So, Q2, bring some, our formula, our formula will be this one. Since we're going to, uh, we're going to count the data set. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, there are 12 um, data set. So, we're going to add this one. 12 plus 1 will be 13. Multiply by 2, it is equal to 26. So, 26 divided by 4, the answer will be 6.5. So, the position of Q2 is at 6.5. So to locate the number, so to locate the 6 number, we're going to find the 6 entry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And interpolate the decimal. So Q2 is equal to 50 since it is the 6 number. Plus its decimal, which is 0.5, we're going to subtract the sixth number to the seventh number. So, or the seventh entry, I mean. So, 55 minus 50 uh, multiplied by 0.5. So, 50 over here plus 
55 minus 50 is equal to 5. 5 multiplied by 0.5, the answer will be 2.5. The answer will be 2.5. So, 50 plus 2.5, the answer is 52.5. So, so this also means that the uh, um, Q sub 2 is equals to 52.5 and its position is at 6.5. So that is the um, that is the uh, percentile, decile, and quartile of ungrouped data. You just have to remember. You just have to get familiarized with the formula, so you will be able to um, solve the problems or the given um, given data sets easily. So hi again, everyone. I'm back. So since Laleen has been finished discussing the formula in finding the percentile, decile, and quartile of the ungrouped data. So right now, I will be discussing to you the formula in finding the percentile, decile, and quartile of the group data. So in finding the fractiles of the group data, the following formulas are used. So the percentile, PK is equals to LB, which means the lower boundary of the K percentile class, plus the K, which is the desired K, times N, which is the sample size over 100, minus the commutative frequency before the K percentile class, over the frequency of the K percentile class, times the interval. So, as you can see, the formula of decile and quartile are the same in the formula of the percentile. But, there is a difference. As you can see, the denominator here is 100, in the decile is 10, and in the quartile is 4. Because percentile is divided by 100 equal parts, while the decile is divided by 10 equal parts, and the quartile is divided by 4 equal parts. So, hindi ka mo magtalang sa pag ano kong formula because parihas ng gig santa. Ang kinalain ng gig is ang andang ha, mga denominator. So, amara. So, let's proceed now to the examples so that you can clearly understand how to compute the percentile, decile, and quartile of the group data. So, let's have a example here, here on the board. Find the P40, D7, and Q1 of the given frequency distribution below. So, as you can see, the class interval is given and the frequency is also given. So, we will find the total frequency. So, we will just add all these numbers and it will give us an 85. So, N is equals to 85. So, the class interval, as you can see, the interval here is 10. So, we will write 10. So, pag nakita rin natin ang class interval, tag ang frequency, let's find the CF, which is the cumulative frequency. So, in finding the cumulative frequency, we just need to copy 5. 5 plus 12 is equal to 17. 17 plus 8 is equal to 25. 25 plus 15 is equal to 40. 40 plus 20 is equal to 60. 60 plus 13 is equal to 73. 73 plus 7 is equal to 80. And 80 plus 5 gives us 85. So, amurinda ang cumulative frequency. So, let's find out the LB, which 
is the lower boundary. In finding the lower boundary, just subtract 0 0.5 in this number. So, 81 minus 0 0.5 gives us 80.5. 71 minus 0 0.5 70.5. One minus zero point five gives us sixty point five. Fifty one minus zero point five gives us fifty point five. Forty one minus zero point five is equal to forty point five, and thirty one minus zero point five is equal to thirty. We can now proceed in substituting this data in the given formula. So let's start. So first, we will compute the T for T. So to find the fourth percentile class, we will compute first the desired K times the sample size over 100 will give us 34. So, on 34, this means that we have to locate 34 in the cumulative frequency column. So, by 34, the initial is sa 40. So, by 40, ang muyama data ang atin na i-gamitan sa pag-solve kang P40. So, the lower boundary which is 40.5 plus the desired K which is 40 the sample size which is 85 over 100 minus the cumulative frequency before the K percentile class so ang um, yeah, yan ay na by 40 ang atin na cumulative frequency at ang hambal dito, before the K percentile class. So, ang this ang 40, 25 are nice. So, ang mura ang atin na cumulative frequency before the K percentile class. So, 25 over the frequency of the K percentile class. So, ang frequency of the K percentile class is... 15. Ano yan? 15. Ano nga nga? Frequency. So, 15 times sa interval na 10. So, 10. Compute 
have to compute the desired number, desired k, which is 7, times 85 over 10 will give us 59.5. 59.5. Just like in finding the percentile, this is the cumulative frequency. So, siga po natin din siya sa column. So, by 59.5, din siya siya sa 60. So, ang atin na data ng damita lang is siya. So, after that, we have to identify the necessary values and plug them in our equation. So, ang mga dyang mga values. The LD is 50.5 plus the K7. Sample size 85 over 10. For the K percentile class, by 60, so before 60 is 40. So 40 over the frequency 20. Times the interval na 10. So solve. So after computing the decile, let's move forward and solve the quartile. So for Q1, we should locate first the first quartile class. This can be done by computing the N over 4 is equal to 85 over 4, which will give us 21.25. So, amor niya ang anang ha? Cumulative frequency. So, siga po natin tanan siya sa una data. So, 21.25 is siya sa 25. So, amor niya siya ang data ang atin na i-gamitan. So, computer natin tanan sa equation. LB plus K
answer is 35.8. So, the quartile 1 is equal to 35.8. So, that's the end of our discussion about the percentile, decile, and quartile of the group data.